So guys, I had seen the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, and as a non-major fan to Deadpool, and well, not to Deadpool, as a non-major fan to the Marvel ser series altogether, I wanted to give my thoughts as like an outsider coming in of what it was like watching Deadpool and Wolverine upon my initial viewing with no understanding of <clears throat> the comics, the background, anything like that you know some lost knowledge of what's going on within the movies some lost knowledge of what's going on within the episodes because i'm gonna be honest i did not even start watching the disney plus episodes because it was starting to ask me for too much money at that point so it's like okay whatever stuff they're referencing that is in regards to i guess more olden times olden times which at this point is over a decade now over a decade ago like, a lot of that stuff was, like, lost on me. So, I want that to be uh, known as I'm talking about my thoughts throughout the movie. <clears throat> so, as the movie started, uh, <laughs> it started on the premise of, uh, you know, Logan died. Uh, we need Logan because uh, our universe is in danger. That's the whole timeline. That's the whole premise of the movie. And that's that's where, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where we start before we uh, jump into everything, into all the action, everything that you're used to with Deadpool and stuff. Now, my initial understanding of my understanding of Deadpool as a character, I feel like it's still misunderstood. You can definitely tell he has good intentions, but then at the same time, the whole starting intro is literally him desecrating the freaking burial site of logan you know the person that had this huge monumental impact on the whole series as a whole you know it, it's just it's so wild it, it's it's one of those things that you can only achieve that through media like this the feeling that you get seeing something like that you can only achieve it through media like this and it it was like it was kind of like setting the stage of what to expect throughout the movie but also at the same time it it wasn't if that makes sense so they desecrate his his burial site they use his literal remains to take out people that are threatening deadpool's universe right now and then things start moving forward again in terms of uh the plot oh when the tva came to his place that was when they were talking about uh they need to find somebody to help his universe because wolverine died and started altering their universe so he's like well if all i need to do is find the wolverine then i'm just gonna go find the wolverine it doesn't matter like what but there's a specific wolverine that deadpool himself was looking for that deadpool or that wolverine that he brought back was uh the one that we know and love hugh jackman that fox messed up now i'm going to be honest Fox start or Marvel start talking about Fox and I remember those movies being shit but I don't remember them being that shit. I mean, throughout that whole movie, the whole movie, they were shitting on Fox. Like if there was ever a non-verbal agreement of a corpse, it would be that because oh my gosh, it, it it was insane the amount the amount of references towards fox and towards the mistreatment of these characters was also lost on me upon my first viewing because i don't know how bad they did him you know what i'm saying i don't know how bad they did wolverine altogether i don't know how bad they did hugh jack but the last time anything wolverine related came into my peripherals i was like five i, I was literally in single digits so i don't even remember realistically anything wolverine i just remember wolverine i do remember deadpool and i don't i don't like old school deadpool i think it's really funny how they keep calling back that they killed him from ever taking that deal to begin with because that's how bad it was i i think that is beautiful and amazing I, i'm not gonna lie but that is the only thing that gives me basis to understand why they're like killing everything from fox so keeping it like where things are exciting because i'm not giving you know too much detail of what you can expect of the movie but i also want to make it to where it's something that i can express myself on on what i saw and was feeling throughout the movie uh there was a lot of references towards fox prop or fox properties that um as you can see right there like that i just 
I was, it was lost on me. It was lost on me. I'm going to be honest. Um, a lot of references that were lost on me because I don't know the actors specifically, like outside of their roles, there were some references there that was lost on me. And I could eat, I, you can tell, you can tell as you're watching the movie, you can tell that there's references to those things. But uh, it, it was just, like I said, it was just lost on me. It was just lost on me. It was basically like saying, if you don't know, go watch the movies. If you can't watch the movies, then just it's whatever. It is what it is. So that kind of had me confused for a bit because the way it started was desecrating Logan's burial site, which I did see. So I understood the weight and the emotional impact of that burial site to begin with. But man, like, it was like seeing Deadpool actually go, like, you get why he needs to, but you don't need to do it to that extent. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it feels like that's the feeling they want you to have as you're watching the movie. And I think they did a great job of that because, wow, what are you doing type deal. After that whole thing. they basically were just going through this area where there's like lost media and all that i'm not saying anything that hasn't been shown they're going through this area that's lost media essentially like think of it like if you guys know me you know i've been around since early 2000s i've been on the internet since i could understand words essentially that lost media section was essentially like creepy pastas i'm gonna be completely honest like in the example of creepy pastas there it was basically like folk tales that were shared around that were about like spirits or demonic spirits or demonic entities or something or murdering something murder going around that that was basically what creepy pastas were and it was like if cer certain things occurred this person would show up which is the creepypasta right over time you just end up forgetting about it but i want you to pay attention to the creepypasta part so in the movie when they start going through the lost media it was like the only way you could understand that lost media is if you were there with that media before it was lost in the first place so it's like if you know these people that's great but it's also like it sucks because it's basically saying that these characters are just done that that's what this area is like essentially defining it as like these characters are done they're forgotten they don't know what to do with them or the other or in the sense of the writing how they're writing it out the other company before we got them didn't know what to do with them so this is where they are until we can figure something out and i mean regardless of which way it went the fact that it's media that people know of, people that should be around, even in assuming under the pretense you didn't watch those movies, those are people you know that you're like, what the heck? Like, I, in what movie were they? Where were they at? Like, stuff like that. It's really inviting to the whole idea of this overarching story that only really works with Deadpool there, if that makes sense in the overarching stories like the timeline stuff and i mean Mar marvel knows about the timelines and there's been uh dr strange handling the timelines there's been captain america handling the timelines uh thor handling the timelines i mean there's been people that's handled timelines but not in like such a not like this not like this to where they can go into somebody else's timeline entirely and change something in their own timeline to make it fine i i don't think we've ever seen anything like that so it makes it very unique to deadpool to only do that and if i'm wrong i'm wrong and you guys can tell me in the comments that's why we're having this discussion but i haven't seen anything like that with deadpool specifically or anybody in the marvel uh universe here specifically that has been able to alter a timeline in a positive way but it's like it's only through deadpool it doesn't make sense what i'm trying to say like because right now we're at the lost media part the whole summarization around this whole lost media part is that it puts you kind of in the mind of the the behind the scenes and the only way you can get that kind of mind is by having deadpool there because for the people that are in there they like that's just the depths for them that's just the lost lands you know what I'm saying? Without Deadpool there, that's that's exactly what it is. With him there, it becomes 
the TCA, the, 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 where the TCA sends you because you don't want to deal with things. Even freaking, I'm getting ahead of myself. But the point I'm trying to make is that that's where they send you if they don't know what to do with you or you're just like useless. <laughs> and I felt, I felt like that was really confusing for me as a sort of side watcher to the Marvel series. So that part altogether was like, you know, I, I just, I could have did without it. I could have did without it. Me personally, I could have did without it. But I also am not too prideful and egotistical to say that like, it's, it's needed for what they're trying to push. <laughs> I'm not going to lie because it is so integral to the story. That that part right there is, is so specific. You can clearly see like I'm having issues with because past this part is it's kind of smooth sailing but this right here is like we don't know what to do with these characters like genuinely that's what this felt like we don't know what to do with these characters i'm gonna take some of these characters and maybe we can solve some of these problems by by doing it this way are people gonna be disappointed yes some people are gonna be happy but like this this is this is too much like that's what that felt like so that's the lost lands very interesting area i'm not gonna lie very interesting area i'm gonna be thinking about that area for a long time and uh it's going to come back in the future of the movie so we're going to move that to the side past that the whole movie was basically the dynamic between deadpool and wolverine there were yeah sure there were some people up in there that they were talking to uh alternative deadpools okay that he was talking to but for the most part deadpool was with wolverine and the interactions were really more so Deadpool with Wolverine. And so there was a scene where it is one of the iconic scenes. I'm sure you guys know about the Gambit. Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself, yeah. Before that scene, they're basically all introducing each other to themselves. And yes, Deadpool and Wolverine are considered a team at that point, but it's it's not like you it's ambiguous whether he agreed or not if you know wolverine's character maybe it's more clear that he agreed to it so they're you're, they're a team now is the point i'm trying to make and throughout the scene where they're introducing each other it is very apparent that deadpool is there for wolverine and wolverine is there because of deadpool you get what i'm saying like it's two different dynamics deadpool is there for wolverine wolverine's there because of Deadpool so it's like when they're talking Deadpool has more excitement and joy and kind of like this childish innocence to the fact that he's even there with Wolverine in the first place or even having this and Wolverine is more in the sense of I don't even care that I'm here I want to go home and I want this to be fixed that that's the vibe of Wolverine I don't care about any of this I don't even really care about your world. None of the type B, but he he does, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the the air he's coming off with. The scene where they introduce each other with the uh gambit and all of them. I felt like that scene kind of pushed more of what I was expecting out of the movie, which was their dynamic in terms of dialogue not in terms of them fighting each other because it's obvious they weren't going to get along with each other the dialogue with each other with uh deadpool basically which is actually surprising deadpool like trying to calm things down and then wolverine just being like no <laughs> I, who fucking cares that that is it's really good writing and i'm i'm like saying it doesn't really encapsulate the feeling that i got as i was watching it and upon the second viewing it just perpetuated the feeling I had about the characters more. But the first viewing is the one that I'm focusing on. And even with the non-understanding I had about the comics and all that, I felt like they really got the dynamics like it was in the comics. I don't know the comics, but if I were to know the comics, I'm assuming this is exactly, not exactly, but character wise, how they are in the comics. And I thought that was amazing that they were able to get it like that. Amazing.
simply amazing. It, it felt really humanized. <clears throat> now, going towards like the end of the movie, because we're like, we're skipping a lot of things because I'm not trying to spoil too many things. I'm trying to get what I really enjoyed about the movie off my chest. Towards the end of the movie, uh, Wolverine's walking through the recesses of his mind. And it talks about, it's basically talking about mental health, but like in a comic book way, in a very extremist kind of way, because Wolverine killed people that were evil and innocent. So he's stuck and tormented with the voices of those people he killed for the good and bad. And so he uses these to hide from the people that he knows because he's ashamed of himself. That was... It was a lot to take in. It was a lot to take in. It was a lot to take in. Because it's kind of like they're taking old Wolverine, who is still Wolverine, don't get it twisted, but they're taking him and they're like, like brainwashing him. Not brainwashing him, but like, they're like molding him differently based on what his past actions were. And even with him coming to the conclusion of what he's done because I think that's really the issue is that he couldn't accept that everything he did was what he did again I don't know I haven't watched the movies so but I think after that scene it was kind of like spirits changed but like in a way I can't describe right now and I'm just gonna leave it at that I felt like that scene specifically though helped me get a better grasp of Wolverine as a character and why he was so like i don't give a fuck i don't care i don't like why it just it gave me a lot more understanding towards his character and that that was the main point me talking about that scene now <clears throat> the rest of the movie i feel like was pretty like mediocre there, there there's good parts i'm not gonna sit here and say like I should just get up and walk out because it's just like not worth your time i think it's worth your time but I also think that it was by far the weakest part of the movie, the ending part. I feel like that was the weakest part of the movie. I think the uh, Deadpool scene where they were, the very long Deadpool scene where they fought a whole bunch of Deadpools, I felt like that scene was, the intention behind it was pretty cool, but I felt like overall that scene was like, what the hell am I looking at? I feel like that's part of the writing of Deadpool to where it's like, it's supposed to be that insane, but I can't tell. So throughout all those thoughts, we are finally arriving to the end of what I think after viewing it. And honestly, it was more like, what the hell am I looking at? What did I just see? Because I didn't have any grasp, any understanding, any history, like nothing. I didn't have anything I could hold on to. So it, there was a lot of care and love put into it. And you can tell that there was, even if you didn't understand the story to that extent. But because there was so much care, it was like, what am I seeing that you guys care about that I'm, I'm not essentially because I haven't seen it. And uh, I went and did some history some research essentially and uh when i came back and watched it again wow they really got these characters like down to a t they got all the references down to a t they got all the freaking interactions down to a t they got all the characters from the past down to a t it my misunderstanding when i first watched it was deadpool as a character and wolverine as a character and then on top of that the fact that it's like a two-part movie, essentially, like, uh, like it's one movie, but it's got two two storylines going on at the same time, and that made it weird because I only really cared for Deadpool because I knew Deadpool more, but after viewing it the first time and then looking into Wolverine and then watching it the second time, it was more like. Man, I hope you guys just get along. <laughs> I hope you guys just get along. Why can't you guys just make up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys really do have the same idea in terms of what you want to do. 
You know what I'm saying? One's broken, one's hurt. There, like, there's a difference. There's a major difference. One's broken, one's hurt. But that hurt can fix your brokenness, and his brokenness is what's needed to fix his world in general. So who cares? Like, it is. I I was sitting there like, man, I really wish you guys could make up. And there's this one scene that I will say that is my favorite scene is the car scene. And that car scene, Deadpool and Wolverine fight, okay? I'm not going to spoil everything. It gets pretty graphic in terms of, like, how they start fighting. But that scene in general, it felt like something Wolverine needed because it doesn't seem like he's the greatest with how he expresses himself. Does that make sense? So instead of him being very articulate with how he wants things to come out, I'd rather just freaking hit you. That That's Wolverine's thing. And so not only did he, he articulated himself and I feel like he articulated himself because of how long he was sitting with Deadpool. <laughs> like, damn, like he was able to sit there and really internalize his character to finally say something. And then when he's, when he said it and it felt like he, the intention behind it was like, I don't like you, but it makes sense why I don't like you. That that felt like his intention. Like, it makes sense. All, all the things you told me, it makes sense now. When he got that off, I felt like that was him trying to help him out. But not being the best at it type deal. And when Deadpool was talking, like his response was, I'm going to fight you now. I really don't think Wolverine thought he was being serious. Not only because Deadpool jokes all the time, but because he was really trying to help him for once. It, that His response was the opposite <laughs> of what he wanted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just had that realization. Oh my god, bro. That scene was really good. I feel like that scene was finally what was needed to like become... A bit more of like each other in a sense. Wolverine became a bit more like Deadpool. Deadpool became a bit more like Wolverine in that moment. And it was it was really nice. It was really nice. But overall, I really liked the movie. I think it was a great movie. Uh I would give it an eight. Just purely off the writing alone. I feel like the writing was fantastic. Uh, the little like Easter eggs and stuff, I would give it points on that. But honestly, like there's so many. If I gave it points on that, it would feel like cheating because it would be I would just instantly bump it up to a nine because of the the levels of attention to detail that they went and put into the movie to reference old movies, to reference other characters in the older movies, to reference other series, to reference car or uh, not cartoon to uh, reference TV series. Like it, it is insane it's insane the the amount of care that was put into a lot of the character detail the world building i i mean like i could sit here and talk about it all day i'm gonna be real all damn day that this was a great movie but don't 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 let me try and convince you bro go see it for yourself i'm i'm gonna be completely honest i'm not really a typical movie goer okay and this was something that was talked about so much i had to see it and when i saw it i was not disappointed the first time the, I, and I wasn't disappointed at all the first time i was just like i didn't understand i i wasn't disappointed i just did not understand what i was looking at and now i do so watch the movie <laughs> uh, please uh, that's all I got to say on this a 29 minute video. I think that's that's more than enough yapping on my end uh, Watch the movie, please. And yeah, see y'all around